This is a piezo tweeter unit mounted inside a full range speaker. See my video is called 30 kilohertz full range speakers and make the best speakers in the world. In a way they sound really good because they go up really high but there are a couple of problems with um, piezo units. At the really high frequencies the impedance becomes down really low to about 1 ohm or something which is not good for your amplifier. That's when I'm talking about really really high frequencies above human hearing around about 20 kilohertz. So it's a good idea to put a resistor there, say a 4 ohm resistor at least so the minimum in impedance is 4 ohms rather than, rather than 0 when you're are going up the super high frequencies. Also another idea I thought of instead of holding the tweeter the, the, the unit, the piezo unit back so much with a 10 ohm which some people do recommend have only a 4 ohm or something like that and this is what the piezo unit looks like when it's not um, mounted. There's some more there, I have some, some old ghetto blasters and I pull them out there's beepers there, the beepers cost $3 each and they've got piezo units inside them too which I can use. Anyway there's piezo unit and so we have our 3.3 ohm resistor on it for the minimum impedance but also I thought an idea of putting a little choke on it because at the really high frequencies this it really go up really high they don't really roll off they peak off so to speak, instead of rolling off. And so you get a really scratchy sound right up in the top end on these little things. But with the choke, it makes it roll off just enough to make it so it sounds smooth. And rolling off means that the treble becomes less intense as it goes up higher, which is the opposite to what these things do. And so it cancels out to a nice even sound and it sounds so nice, and it sounds like it's a tube amp rather than a staticky sound, which is what they seem to have. And that makes all the difference. And so you do that, have that and that in series with the piezo tweeter. They have the best sound in the world. They sound incredible with the choke on them. And it's about 20 wines. 20 wines and nice thick copper wire should do it. Thank you, YouTube.